न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन मे जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन फोर थ्री Here the Newton second law of motion will be used. F is equal to m a. Two particles a and b of masses 1.3, 1.3 kg and 0.37 kg respectively are connected by a light in extensible string which passes over a smooth fixed pulley. Particle A is one point seven five meter above the floor, and particle B is one meter above the floor. The system is released from rest. Initial speed zero hogi with the string start, and the particles move vertically. When the particles are at the same height, the string breaks. show that before string breaks the magnitude of the acceleration of each particle is 3 meter per second square and find the tension in the string now first of all we will represent here the forces acting on this system weight of particle b vertically downward 0.7 g weight of particle a is 1.3 g uh, direction of the tension towards pulley direction of tension towards pulley now we will find equations using newton's second law of motion we will make an equation of each particle for particle a equation of motion will be since the particle a is heavier than the particle b so when release the particle a moves downward equation of motion for particle a will be 1.3 g weight minus tension is equal to ma using newton's second law of motion f is equal to ma net force 1.3 g minus t is equal to 1.3 a so here this is equation number 1 and now for particle b equation will be particle b moves upward when released t minus 0.7 g is equal to m a this is equation number 2 say no we have to find the magnitude of the acceleration adding these two equations when we will add these two equations minus t or plus t cancel out Uh, 1.3 g the value of g is 10 1.3 g minus 0.7 g this becomes 6 is equal to right side will be added 1.3 plus 0.7 that is 2 a so so from here a will be 3 meter per second square now putting the value of a in equation number 1 in any equation you can uh, put this value of a you will get the tension in equation a 13 1.3 g mean 13 minus t is equal to ma uh, 13 minus t is equal to 3.9 from here the value of t will be 9.1 Newton. This is a uh, tension. And the magnitude of the acceleration is three, three meter per second square. Now move to the next part of this question. Find the difference in 
time find the difference in the time that it takes the particle to hit the ground when the particles in the uh, question statement when the particles are at the same height the spring breaks when the particles are at the same height the spring breaks to ye dobara diagram aap dekh sakte ho the particles here are at the same height here the particles are at the same height no the distance when the particles are at the same height distance will be 1 1.75 minus 1.75 minus 1 this will be equal to 0.75 तो जितना डिस्टेंस पार्टिकल ए ने डाउनवर्ड कवर किया है उतना ही डिस्टेंस पार्टिकल बी ने अपवर्ड कवर किया है तो सो वी विल डिवाइड 0.75 डिवाइडेड बाय टू तो दिस बिकम 0.375 तो द पार्टिकल बी हैज कवर्ड 0.375 अपवर्ड एंड पार्टिकल बी covered 0.375 downward and are at the same height now the distance when they are at the same height the distance from the ground will be 1.375 now we have to find the difference in times when they are at the same height they will uh, move towards ground तो दोनों पार्टिकल्स जो है वो उनका ग्राउंड तक पहुंचने का टाइम में स्लाइटली डिफरेंस होगा वो डिफरेंस हमने फाइंड करना है वो डिफरेंस इसलिए होगा एक पार्टिकल ए जो है डाउनवर्ड मूव कर रहा था पार्टिकल बी मूव्स अपवर्ड वो वाज मूविंग अपवर्ड तो वो स्लाइटली डिफरेंस होगा टाइम में तो वो टाइम डिफरेंस हमने फाइंड करना है फर्स्ट we will find the time uh, first we will find the speed when they are at the same height what is the speed when they are at the same height from a we can find initial speed when they are released initial speed zero final speed when they are at the high, uh, same height we have to find distance covered from the initial position of a to when they are at the same height is 0.375 now we will the value of g will be 10 meter per second square we are using this equation v square minus u square is equal to 2 gs u is 0 v square will be 2 10 into distance is 0.375 After simplifying, we get we get v square is equal to 2.25. A square root taking square root v is equal to 1.5 meter per second. When they are at the same height, the speed of each particle is 1.5 meter per second. A comes down, v moves upward. When they are at the same height, the speed will be 1.5 meter per second. no we will find the time for uh, particle a to reach the ground for particle a time for particle a Uh, we are using this formula s is equal to 
एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ जी टी स्केयर एस इज वन पॉइंट थ्री सेवन फाइव इनिशियल स्पीड इज वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टी वन ओवर टू जी इज टेन टी स्केयर दिस विल बिकम अ क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन writing it in standard form 5t square plus 1.5t minus 1.375 is equal to 0 now you will use your calculator uh, to find the value of t one will be positive the other will be negative we will take the time a uh, positive value so we get t is equal to 0.395 seconds now similarly we will find the time for uh, particle b time for particle b distance is same from the ground when they are at the same height but the sign of speed the sign of negative we will take the speed in uh, because the uh, movement is opposite b uh, a comes down and b moves upward so we will take the speed of b as a negative because the direct because of the direction opposite the distance is same distance again we are using this 1.375 s is equal to ut but u is initial speed no 1 minus 1.5 plus 1 over 2 at square gt square g is 10 t square now this becomes 1.375 minus 1.5 t uh, plus 5 t square arranging in order 5 t square minus 1.5 t minus 1.375 is equal to 0 now again using calculator we get the value of t is 0.695 seconds now clearly the time difference will be difference in time of both particles to reach the ground will be 0.695 minus minus 0.395 will be equal to 0.3 second this is the answer this is the time difference of both particles